Hello, second grade. Today, we are scientists back in the kitchen. And the kitchen is a great place to do science experiments, right, Abby? We've been able to make rock candy um, and lots of other yummy treats in here as well, as well as brownies for math, right? I see. But today, we're gonna be using ice cream in an experiment. And we're also gonna be using Coke. We're making good old fashioned root beer floats. But we didn't have any root beer in our kitchen, did we, Abby? No, so we're said we're gonna use Coke and make a Coke float, which is totally fine because a lot of people prefer a Coke float over a root beer float. So all you need today is Coke or root beer, a glass, some vanilla ice cream, spoon, and a great big appetite. So make sure you go get those items. So second grade, it turns out that my scientist helpers were a little hungry, so they opted to just start eating some of the ingredients. That's okay, right? You enjoy that ice cream, Lemmy. <laughs> so the first thing we have to do is pour the Coke into a glass, and that's what we did here. And if you study this very carefully, you can tell that this is a, a liquid. You're right, Abby. You can hear Abby in the background as she's munching on that ice cream. Well, it's a liquid. The molecules are here and they flow. They can move past each other and a liquid can take the shape of any container. So a Coke is a liquid. If you are looking at our ice cream here, mm, our ice cream, ice cream is a solid because it has a certain shape. Yum, yum. Now, Happy says yum yum ice cream. Wow, now I wonder what's gonna happen when we take our ice cream and put it into our Coke flow. What is it gonna happen? Is that ice cream gonna suddenly turn into a liquid? What happens to our liquid? Is it gonna turn into a solid? Well, matter can change, matter can change states. Now, you can think about it, because, um, but can some changes go back? Because if you shred paper, I tear paper up, well, it's always still gonna be paper, right? But some, and that's a physical change, but some changes aren't physical, they're chemical. And if something's a chemical change, it can't go back to the way it was before. Like say, for instance, if you crack an egg and you cook it, ooh, you can't take that cooked egg and bring it back to yolk form and stick it back in the egg. That's not gonna, or it's shell. So that's not gonna happen. So I'm curious, are we gonna create a physical change? Or a chemical change. Well, let's see what happens. So I'm gonna take my scoop of our yummy vanilla ice cream. Yum, 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 yum. Whoop, you get extra ice cream, Libby. All right, and I'm gonna put it in there. Woo, do you see something happening already, second grade? Look, Evie, what's happening? You hear the cat? It's fizzing at the top. When it's fizzing, those bubbles mean we have a Gas. So in this very cup, we have all three states of matter. I can see the fizzing bubbles, a gas. I still see at the very top my solid, my ice cream. And at the bottom, I see my liquid, my Coke, for my Coke float. I wonder how good this is gonna taste. You think it's gonna be really good, Abby? Abby can't wait to sample it out. Now, if I leave this Coke float out for, let's say, an hour, will it still look the same? Will I still be able to see my solid, my liquid, and my gas? Well, we'd have to wait and find out. But I don't know if my girls can sit and wait while this yummy Coke float just sits there. I think they're gonna wanna eat it. What do you think, Libby Lou? Yeah. <laughs> She's eating all the ingredients. All right, second grade. Well, have fun making your Coke floats and see what changes you notice. Right here, we've got a chemical change because it's really just changing everything about it. I'm not gonna be able to take this full, root beer float back, right? I can't take it back and then change it back into ice cream, a root beer. I can't do that, I can't separate this anymore. We've got a good old chemical change. I better go. I think I have some messy scientists in the kitchen. Have fun second grade. <laughs>